The shining world is a wondrous place. Under an aurora lit sky, on the edge of eternal spring. However, there is a prophecy saying that a day will come when a giant wolf swallows the moon, and the magical cities will disappear forever. This prophecy foretells Ragnarok, the end of the shining world. Hello, hello, welcome everybody to Immortal Love, Polar Lights, by the friendly folks, it's a new beta server demo. So that was one huge wolf guy, just swallow the moon. I don't think that's the one. <laughs> this one is normal size, a little bit bigger and heavier than a regular human. So that was something else. Entirely. Alright, everybody, are you guys ready to check this new demo out? Here we go. My dear Astrid, we did a good job preparing all that wool, yarn, and your lovely shawls at the farm. I'm sure if we sell the goods at the Midgard Fair, we'll make a good amount of money for our wedding. What is that? Ah! Everything in shambles! No! Something's moving over there. It's just off. Are you alright? Astrid, there you are. Are you hurt? I'm alright. Luckily I landed in a bush. <laughs> but you didn't get hurt, did you? Are you sure? It's nothing to worry about. I'm sure it was just a fox or something. We're close to the city, where you'll encounter those giant wolves from the stories. Please, collect the yarn while I fix the wagon. And don't be afraid of any monsters in the bushes. Take this magic amulet to give you some light. Collect the balls that fell out of the card. New objective. Collectibles of yarns? Are, are we missing a few? <laughs> That's not enough. Uh, yeah, so you scatter all over the cards. We have to find them all. This is a map of the Shining World. The World of Light. Does that mean there's an opposite world? The World of Darkness? Alright, this one's count too! They're all inside the card! <laughs> I thought they are outside the card. Now... Oh, we need more! There are more! Oh, I see one over there. I think I should use the glowing amulet. Glowing amulet? To my beloved... Oh, let the amulet light your way in the darkest of times. Wolf wears a glowing amulet all the time. It's a pity that the lace is completely frayed. Well, we can repair this. Not a problem, guys. It's only a piece of lace. But is that usable now? Yeah. Oh, hello. It's a cup. How cute you want to play? She give you something to replace my yarn. It's a fox club, guys. Looks like a baby. Hello, Renata. Yarn. Is that one of ours? <laughs> Can I make a toy using only my hands? Oh, I need to fix this up. 
Long Lake and Midgard. Midgard? <laughs> From Final Fantasy VII, guys. Midgard. <laughs> Oh, there's one. Uh, oh, hello. Are you the m mother? <laughs> the mother fox. Don't be upset, I won't hurt you. Uh, we can calm him down or calm her down for sure, guys. By bringing her cup back to her. Alright, hold on. <laughs> Need to lure him out first. Wow, that is talent. A toy mouse is such a good job. Oh, he's playing with it, huh? He didn't just uh, bite the head off. <laughs> all right, let's say we have all the uh, the ball of yarns located now. We only need two. There you go. I'm doing well, thank you very much, Winona. How are you doing? Interesting symbol, I wonder what it means. Is there a meaning? To that particular one? I knew you'd work fast, Astrid. I'm almost finished with the wheel, but it still needs to be oiled. And I left the oil at home. I can see the city from here. Please, go to the fair and purchase some. I'll stay here and keep working. Grab the bridle, and our horse will take you to the city. You should be alright. Bring an oil from the city, a new objective. Alright, let's get going, guys. Whoa, oh, hello, bunny. <laughs> we got a bunny over there. All right, let's go to Midgard. Seems that Midgard Fair has already started, and here is Adelina, the daughter of our old friends. I hope she'll help me. Astrid, I'm so glad to see you. My parents got your order ready, but had to leave to pick up more goods. I needed help to do everything and made a bit of a mess. Can you sort through things while I talk to our customers? Sort the items out. Wow, she surely has a lot of customers, guys. They're all lining up? <laughs> okay, what are those people up to? A lot of people have already gathered at the fair. We have to hurry to sell everything before it's over. There is one huge bonfire, guys. A dangerous bonfire. Wedding dress for the most beautiful girl at the fair. Do we need something over here, guys? I don't think so. Blacksmith, jewelry, weapons, horseshoes, wagon repairs. Move the bow so that they match the color of the bells. Select two bows to swap them. So simple guys. Thanks for your help. I have a few more customers to talk to, and then I'll join you. And a mouse! A toy mouse. Oops! What is on that? My dear friend, Astrid and I will come to the city soon. I have a special order for you. So I hope that you'll find some time for me. Oof. Oh, so she was expecting us, guys. That's why she was so calm. And not one be surprised by my presence here. <laughs> We need shoes. A flag. A dress. Decoration. And a sword. Shoes. Thanks for your help. My parents haven't returned yet, but I found some oil. 
I'm sure they wouldn't mind if I gave it to you. Oh, thank you. Just what we were looking for, guys. Thank you very much. Ooh. Oh no. Wolf? A black wolf? Was he talking to the wolf? Hello. I'm Loki. You must be Astrid. I'm sorry I accidentally enchanted Ulf. He what? asked me to enchant a wolf amulet so it would tell you stories of the Shining World. You accidentally enchanted him? <laughs> I, I found it hard to believe. <laughs> what? Can, can you change him back to a human? Since Ulf stands for wolf, the wording of the spell got muddled and I enchanted him. Unfortunately, Ulf is dangerous in his wolf shape. He's lost all human traits. But I know how to fix all this. You better fix it. <laughs> I need to get my wolf back. The Alfars from Alfheim can remove the spell. We just need to rent a boat to get there. Unfortunately, I don't have any money. However, I did see Ulf drop his purse on the hill. Come to the pier once you find it. And take the amulet. It's yours after all. Wow, who is he and why did Ulf turn to him? Should I believe him? The Shining World contains many mysterious stories and secrets. The main keepers and narrators are scouts. Scouts? They are happy to communicate with travelers and help them. Summoning scouts is only possible at runestones with the help of magical roof amulets. Interesting. Find Ulf's wallet. The weather's been perfect. Yeah, pretty sunny and uh, pleasant today. Although I don't trust Loki, I have no choice now because I don't know the way to the Ulva. I hope Ulf's wallet was really near this stone. Did he drop it nearby, guys? Maybe. Uh, the symbol. Where's his wallet? It's not here. What is that uh, sound though? I'm hearing something. Oh wait, using my special ability, guys. Oh. I have a special pendant. Find the seven pairs of items to summon the scout. Summon a magical poet, huh? Now, oh, pairs of symbol, the tree of life. Ah, uh, the runes. What else do we have? And then, crescent moon. More symbols. Birds, bells, roses, oh, oh, this one, right here, how about wolf, sun, heart, Hello, uh, Katie O'Neill. Welcome to the stream. Are you guys finding any pears? Also, lotus flower. We need three more pears, actually, guys. That is a lot. The stars. Alright, I'm gonna use a hint. Oh, it's a different shape! <laughs> it's not even the same heart. Alright, now I know what's happening here. The two different suns. <laughs> they are not the same, guys. Okay, what else? We have different flowers, stars. Oh, the symbols.
Oh. Greetings, young traveler. I can tell from your look of surprise that you've never summoned a scald from a runestone before. Please, allow me to tell you a story about our world. So, you are a spirit? You are a ghost? The Shining World is a land of eternal spring, illuminated by vivid auroras. Gods and magical beings live amongst humans here. However, an ancient prophecy about Ragnarok says that one day a god of Asgard will jokingly drink water from the magical well, and their heart will be seized by darkness. The god will enchant a giant wolf to swallow the moon, our world's source of magic. As a result, the gods and magical beings will lose their powers, ending the Shining World. No one has ever been able to uncover which god the prophecy speaks of, so be wary of who you trust. And there goes a poet. Loki has nothing to do with the prophecy. Otherwise, how can I trust him? But Loki is not a god. I asked Astrid what wedding ring she has been dreaming of. I think I drew it correctly, and when we are in Midgard for the fair, I'll show this sketch to the blacksmith so he can make it. My beloved Ulf is trying to create a perfect wedding. I must save him. Have we seen these characters before in another game? Another Immortals love game? Nice. Do you remember, Mother Way? Ulf. The name Ulf. I'm sure I've seen him before in another game. Possibly an immortal love game. Our new objective, find Loki at the town dock. Loki! Am I a god of Asgard? Of course! Oh! But that prophecy is nonsense. Look, can you see the ship? That's Skidbladner. It needs neither crew nor oars and can sail in any weather. It was mine once. You are a god. Okay, <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> I gave it to Freyr in exchange for a favor a long time ago, so I can hardly ask him to get her back. Luckily, Freyr is the biggest gambler in Asgard, so I'm sure we can win it back. I bet he's gambling in the tavern as we speak. He won't play against me because he always loses. But I'm sure he'd play against a charming girl like you. I'll wait nearby. Take this so you'll recognize him. Freya is a most adventurous and clever player. And I know, but because of how much he likes to talk, he doesn't know how to concentrate. It's easy to distract him with various questions. Freya, Loki. <laughs> we have so many different... Famous names I hope here. the prophecy is just an old legend, but I should still be careful with Loki. Unfortunately, he's right about us needing to get Skidbladner back. Oh, we got the warships here, guys. So there's a, there's a certain theme going on in this game. Oh, <laughs> uh, the chest is a little rusty. So I don't think he is telling a lie here. I think he's really a god. <laughs> Alright. We are going to play a game. Uh, this guy in the back? Freya, is that you? Do we have his portrait, guys? Yeah, definitely him at the back. Fine, Freya, by comparing Tavern patrons who's drawing uh, you at the back. Yep. Hey, stop stealing my food. Enough. <laughs> Finally, a new face. I see you're bold. I don't think you can win my ship, but I'll gladly play against someone so brave. 
so brave like me. Skid Bladner is special, so I'll only agree to play my favorite Taffle game. Fishermen always play it on the pier, so I'm sure you can find a game set there. Skid Bladnia. Skid Bladnia. That is a mouthful, guys. <laughs> Skid Bladnia. <laughs> I like the name, though. Skid Bladnia. Also, make sure you have something decent to bet. Otherwise, we won't play. And I recommend you learn the rules well. Take this and treat yourself while you're at it. Ah, you're sharing your food. <laughs> oh no, you're not. <laughs> it is a scroll. Are you sharing your food with me? Are you going to do that? I have no money right now. I'm hungry. <laughs> Can I set a playing tab? He is not sharing his food, guys. Uh, fish biscuit. Oh, we got a biscuit. Oh, he gave one to us. Okay, take that all back. <laughs> uh, to begin the game, you need a ladder playing field. The field must be drawn into squares so that the chips can move along them. In the center of the field, you need to place the square chip, the king. Uh, the players must choose their game chips, round or triangular. Oh, it's a new type of game, guys. And I'm ready. Lace. 